Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. I am Christina. And I'm Gaspar. And today we are doing part two of our pin mail video because I had so much I waited for like a month to open everything. I think I pre-opened some of these to make it a little bit faster but it does not look like I did all of them. <coughs> But this is part two, if you saw part one. If not, I will link it in the comments below. And let's just get right into it, shall we? This one, actually, if you've watched part one, I think I got one of these from somebody else as well. Like I said, I got to trading so many pins that I wound up getting some duplicates because I was just trading so fast. I need to start keeping track of what exactly I'm trading. I did for a while, and then I just got really behind. Hi Christina, hope you enjoy your new grumpy pen. Thank you so much for the new pen, and hope to trade with you soon. Happy trading, Brittany. And there's Grumpy for the 2017 set. I mentioned in the previous video I decided to collect the set because 2017 was the first year that we were pass holders. So I just thought that would be a neat way to remember. And this one is for Chris. He did actually pull this from a mystery bag. No, he needs Ray. This one is Rose. And I thought I traded for a Ray somewhere along the line too, so we'll hopefully see that in one of these envelopes. This one does not look like it has been opened. I've buried my scissors again. This looks like it was a big trade. I love when I can trade multiples with the same person. Ooh. Oh, that's cute. It's like a little frame set and some stickers. That's neat. Set that somewhere so I don't lose it. Woody. Toy Story is such a great series. And there's one more in there. This one. Sorry, I'm not talking so much. I'm kind of congested, not feeling so hot today. <clears throat> this one I traded for Jasper. He has not actually seen this one, so we'll put that over here so the box blocks it from his view. It's super cute. I just saw it and thought he would love it. And this is from the World of Evil set. It's Stromboli from the World of Evil set. Madame Tremaine, I believe, in the World of Evil set. Madame Mim. I got most of the World of Evil set from this person. There's the Queen of Hearts. Hunchback of Notre Dame villain. I admit it, I forget his name right now. <coughs> and 
this was another one that I traded for Jasper's little grab bag. This isn't a set that I was planning on collecting, so I just grabbed that one for him. Ironically, though, I have traded for a few from that set, just when people wanted something that I had. So I actually have a few from that set. Oh, I dropped one. And that's Chernabog Fantasia. And thank you, Jasper. Welcome. Hades. I was about to say Herschel. Herschel? That one's a little bit smaller than the other ones, it looks like. And as you can see, that was a very large trade. I love when I'm able to do that. <clears throat> and these look like Series 3 Tsum Tsums. Trying to get that whole set via trade. For some reason, I can find the other Tsum Tsum packs on eBay, but not Series 3 very easily. Christina, thanks for the trades. Enjoy your pins. And there is Hook and Peter and John from the Series 3 Tsum Tsums. This one is not open. I'm a card first kind of gal. Thank you. Christina, thanks for another awesome trade. Hope to trade with you again sometime, Maria. I hope you and Jasper in find Dreamfinder or Figments. I think this is from the Trading Pin I do series. Actually, I do actually want to start collecting Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm going to have to fight you for them then. <laughs> I mean, like, uh, like the what? Oh yes, you did get each of those ones. I don't have any room for them. This is the black and white trading or pin trading event pin from the Keep On Trading mystery pin set. I got that one for Jasper. The only Dreamfinder one I was able to find was the gold one, so I'm still looking for the full color and the black and white Dream Finder one from that set. Thank you, that's a cute little elephant. Oh. Hi Christina, thanks for the trade. It was really, it, was, it really was thoughtful of you, Stephanie. There's some Cute little stickers. This might have been one that she needed something that I had and I just picked one of hers because I don't, this is actually the first shield pin that I have. I do love Tiana though. Merci. Oh, there's a BB-8 sticker in there. Oh, I love Ursula. Look at that Ursula sticker. That's swell. Christina, thank you for trading with me and helping me to complete my set. Only two more to go, Carrie. My mouse is very dry. Oh, this is one that Jasper wanted. Jasper, do you want to see this one? It wasn't for your bag. He had a couple of extras from this set, and he really wanted, nope, he really wanted the rock and roller coaster. That's his favorite ride in the parks. So he really wanted that pin. You want that? Thank you. You're welcome. Want to put it in with the pie? Okay. Back in a minute. 
Oh, that's super cute. Now I'm going to have to go find this card set. It's the Six of Spades, and it's got Bambi on there. There's the back of that. That's really kind of cool. I'm curious, Kristen, where you got these cards. Christina, thanks for the great trades. Enjoy your new pins. Oh, I think these are the other ones that Jasper wanted in that set. The Big Thunder Mountain and Dream Finders. So those were for Jasper as well. Series 1, Tsum Tsum Goofy. I got one when I opened my packs, but it had a flaw on it, so I wanted to trade for one that did not have a flaw on it. And Daisy, which was one of the ones I was missing from that collection. I am now only missing Chip and Stitch. I actually pulled a stitch, but Jasper stole it from me. But that's okay. Yeah, the, from that Series 1 Tsum Tsum set that's right there. Remember you were there when I opened them and you, oh, yeah. you wanted the stitch. Thank you for the trade. Enjoy, Audrey. Oh, that's cool. I all these little extras people throw in. It's Cruella for the evil or heroes, villains versus heroes collection. I swear I can speak. Looks like we're about halfway done here. Thank you for the trade, John. Oh, I remember this one. I actually collect, this is kind of obscure, some of my collections are a little obscure, like Dreamfinder. I collect, this is limited edition of 2000, I actually did not know this was a limited edition. I collect Disney characters with books, and I saw this on somebody's trader board and hopped on it as fast as I could. Back to school, 2010. That is super cute. Looking forward to adding that to my other characters with books. Let's like cut this one. It's a nice little box. So happy together. Thanks so much for the trade. Enjoy, Nikki. There is Jiminy Cricket for the Donuts Collection. And Daisy for the donut collection. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Looks like we're only missing two of the donuts now. So that's exciting. Of course, we'll be happy. Those two are for us. I am so happy I could bounce. That's cute. Christina, thanks so much for trading with me. I hope you enjoy your new pen. Oh, there's a little Dory sticker in there. Oh, this is another exciting one. Hopped on this one as soon as I saw it posted as well. I am a product of 80s cartoons. So... I love like the gummy bears, which 
isn't as what well, as often talked about as like Darkwing Duck or Ducktales, but I grew up with those cartoons. Well, I, I bought them and now you watch them, yes. I don't watch them anymore. Let's see. So here is the Disney Park Pack Darkwing Duck. Limited edition of 500. That is exciting. I think that might be one of the lowest edition pins that I have. So I'm really excited to get that one. I'm probably going to try to start a Disney afternoon pin board at some point. I think I have a few now. I know there's a new edition or open edition Darkwing Duck that just was released too, I believe. I have not seen it in the parks yet, but I have been looking. I do not remember trading for two of these Rocketeer ones, but if you watched my last video, I got one. I don't remember trading for two of these, so now I have a trader as well. Could have just been one of those situations where she needed something that I had. Almost done here, guys. Oh, a whole sheet of stickers. Those are cute. Thanks for the trade, Megan. This one I did not remember that I had traded previously for the Nerd Chip. So this is another Nerd Chip. I will probably just throw that one on my trader board. I need a better system of keeping track, obviously. Merlin from the Villains vs. Heroes set. And there's a lot of bubble wrap here. And Basil from the Great Mouse Detective from the Villains vs. Heroes set. I actually pulled the villain from this movie when I opened my own packs, but I did not get him, so I'm excited about that. Almost there. Hi Christina, thanks so much for the trade. I'm so excited to add these new ones to my collection. Can't wait for new videos. Do them at your speed though, Jen. I had planned a bunch of videos, but I had gotten sick and felt bad that it they weren't getting posted. And she was very kind to <coughs> chat with me during that time. There's Aurora from the Nesting Dolls set. She kept me upbeat when I was feeling bad about not posting things. And Hercules from the World of Cute collection. I actually did not want this set, but I do love Hercules, so I snatched that one up. Hercules. It's a fun movie. This is the last envelope, and then I have one other thing I wanted to show you guys. Dear Christina, thank you for the trade. Hope you enjoy your new pins. Best wishes, Yvette. These might be the two that I'm missing from this series. And yes, they are. This is exciting. My fantasy collection, or fantasy land collection, is now complete. 
we have Lafou. And Gaston. So excited. So that is another collection complete. And then last but not least, I wanted to show you one other pin that I had to wind up buying on eBay. I was hoping to trade with somebody for a Disney World exclusive, but I received this one yesterday. It is the new Windows of Evil pin. I did wind up buying it on eBay for $25, I think, which is cheaper than most people are selling it right now. It does go for $17 in the parks, but it sold out super fast. It is a limited edition of $2,000. And I just wanted to show you, one, how beautiful these Windows of Evil pins are and how incredibly huge. Like, when the new ones come out, I'm definitely going to be looking for those. I'm probably shooting myself in the foot by showing you how great this pin is because everyone's going to start wanting this series. Not that a lot of people didn't want it to begin with, but absolutely beautiful. I'm very, very happy with this pin, and I'm looking forward to more in this series, if I can get the backs back on here. So there is the last of the pin haul from the past month. Hopefully I can get back on track and just do one video each Sunday like I had originally planned on doing. So I think my favorites from this, I purchased that one, so I'm going to go with... Oh, this is difficult. Darkwing Duck. And maybe this Back to School 2010 one. I just love characters with books. So thank you once again for watching. If you haven't already, like and subscribe if you like videos like this. And let us know in the comments below which your favorite is. And go out and spread some pixie dust.